Hello, I'm Joe Neville and welcome to Linux for Networkers, part four. How to configure a static IP address for your Linux machine. And we're going to be doing that using the text editor, Vi. To recap the current setup, I'm using a Linux virtual machine on VMware Workstation using the default settings, which is a NAT network. So over on the left, We've got my home network 192.168.1/24. I've got my laptop, which is sat on the wireless network. On that network, it's actually .75, um, and then the VMware Workstation default settings has created a NAT network. This 192.168.44/24. The laptop sits on that at .1 and the Linux VM is .133. Now what I want to do is I want to move off of that NATed network and move to a bridge setting. So what that does is it exposes the Linux VM to my home network as though my laptop and my Linux VM were peers on the same network. So we're going to move on to the 192.168.1/24 network. At first the Linux VM will have a DHCP assigned address, which is coming from my home router. But then what I want to do is move that to a statically assigned address of .10. I add a lot of new things to my home network. So I want to make sure that I know what address my Linux VM um, is holding in the future so that I can log into it easily. So I'm going to statically assign that to .10. OK, so here's my Linux VM. I'm doing the IP add command um, and we can see that Eve zero is 192.168.44.133. So first thing to do is I'm going to change my VMware workstation setting. So I shut down to do that. We do a shutdown minus H to halt and zero to do it immediately put in my password going down and then we go edit virtual machine settings NAT will change that to this bridged network connection OK that power on the virtual machine so log in now if I check now we've moved from NAT to the bridge network so uh, as you can see the third octet has changed from dot 44 to dot one so we're now sat on my home network i will try to ping my wireless router which i can i can ping my laptop yes and i can ping out i hope okay great so now let's move to a statically assigned ip address and if you're a networker who configures uh, devices, switches and routers, you'll be used to the idea of a single configuration file that you go, if it's Cisco devices, so like a ConfT or on Conware from HP, you will go and do a sys command and then you have a single file which you will change IP addresses on. And then when you save that, the IP address changes will automatically um, be made. Now, Linux doesn't have a monolithic configuration file. It has a number of uh, well, many different files which can be um, uh, which do different tasks and you. And you alter the text of these files, um, the way that we're going to do that, we don't have anything like a sys or a, a conf T. What we do is we use a text editor to go in and actually change the text of that file. So we'll look at the file first of all. The file lives here in the etc network uh, directory and it is the interfaces file. So here we have, you can see you've got uh, the loopback interface and a primary network interface, auto eth0 and against that you see iface eth0 inet dhcp so we're dhcp assigned what we need to do is change that to static and put the ip addresses uh, put the ip address dot 10 um, in there 
So as I mentioned, we need to use a text editor. Now there's many different text editors that you can use, but I like to go old school and use Vi. Vi, if you've not used it, is quite infuriating to start with, but if you just grasp a few of the basic commands, it's actually, I found myself even though I've used other text editors, I find myself continually going back to Vi for making small changes like we're going to do here. So to make the change, I do an up Harry and I can't bring back cat. What we need to do is sudo to act as the uh, super user and I'm going to do and just enter Vi and the file that we want to alter. Put in my password and here is, now we're into Vi, this is the text editor. Um, and my first advice if you haven't used this is to just take things slowly because if you're used to um, using text editors like a notepad this isn't like uh, the, the commands are very different I'd say so don't just go in and start thinking that you can type and start deleting etc you can't and it's very easy to get into a real mess so just uh, take things slow and make sure that you adhere to the simpler c commands that I'm going to show you. So you can't actually edit anything straight away. Um, we actually need to go into the editing mode. So insert so, and disclaimer any Vi experts out there. I'm, I know that this is a very overly simplified uh, approach to Vi, but um, this is just, like I said, quick and dirty approach to getting things done with Linux. So please forgive me if I um, oversimplify, as I say. So what we need to do is go. Uh, I, I find it easier to find the area that I want to edit. And what we do is we press I to insert. So now we're into editing mode and we can do a backspace to delete. And then we just start typing what we need to enter now uh, one of the things you'll notice as well uh, if you're more used to using um, conf t or sys there there's no autocomplete here so you can't do a question mark and it tells you the um, the correct syntax for this file uh, you actually have to know what to insert because there is a set syntax for this So this is our subnet mask slash 24 gateway. And we want our DNS. Which is my wireless router. OK, now to save, we're still in insert mode. We press escape and then to exit and save at the same time we do colon x enter now if you look at the file if I cat on the file again you'll see that it has been altered I'll just give you a few more hints with Vi now if you go in and you just want to quit you do a colon q and enter and that will take you out so you're out I'm out there and if I go back in what if, and this is where I got stuck quite a few times, what if I make a mistake and I just want to, I make an unholy mess of the thing and I just want to start again. So let's go insert and we'll just put some nonsense in. I escape out. Now I can quit without sa saving. I have to do a colon Q and then an exclamation mark to override. If I try to, I'll just do it now. If I try to exit without the exclamation mark, it will actually tell me add exclamation mark to override. So we do a colon, Q and exclamation mark. And we're out. And if we look again, the nonsense that I wrote in there has not been saved. Now, if we look at the IP address again, the more observant of you will see that although the interface's file has changed, the IP address assigned to the interface has not. We're still on the DHCP assigned of 166. What we need to do is force the process to reread the file um, and make the alteration. So we do that by one of the ways of doing that is to shut down the interface and open it. So I'll do that. I do that with a sudo if down interface zero. I can do this, of course, because I am on the console. I'm still using the uh, hypervisor um, console. 
obviously if you was SSH on a, onto a device you'd shut yourself off so we shut down the interface in which case probably just a reboot if you're in your lab would be quicker now we check the IP address again uh, 192.168.1.10 statically assigned as we wish so what I'm going to do now is I will SSH onto my device 10 using putty and we're in okay. great um, and the reason I can SSH straight away is because I chose to install the SSH server during the Ubuntu install process. Now, if you haven't got SSH um, installed, you can get it easily by doing a sudo apt-get install open SSH server. I've already got it, so already the, on the newest version, and there is a client as well. Okay, great. So that's all for now. Hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching.